2019 marks the centenary of the ILO. In January, the ILO published the Work for a Brighter Future report. To achieve a better future for our workers, we cannot afford to have a business as usual mindset. Singapore is honoured to host ministers, tripartite leaders and representatives from around the region to engage in meaningful discussions on the report. The topic today is the future of work. All of us have a vested interest in it. Each country should develop its own set of national strategies. Our conference in Singapore hopes to make a small contribution to this important global conversation. We have the power to work together to determine the direction that that future will take. And I believe that we have a shared responsibility to do just that. We have the potential to work together to drive a human-centered agenda for the future of work. It means placing women and men and the work that they do at the very center of economic and social policy. It's important for all our workers to keep their skills relevant because of the fast-changing nature of work, adoption of new technologies, and at the end, business must continue to thrive and be competitive. With regards to today's uh, changing landscape, there is a pressing need for students to branch out and figure out what exactly they are good in and what exactly they are passionate about. So without self-awareness, you cannot make decisions or seize opportunities when they come along. Going into the future, uh, automation and artificial intelligence, they're going to replace all these repetitive tasks. So it's really about that human touch in the future. It's how we as humans be humans.